just had ice cream and it was really fun and we went back to her car and we sat there from like 7 o'clock to 1 o'clock just making out and talking and listening to music and it was it was awesome I'm into her I'm really into this girl let me first start this off with a story it's not a pretty one but it's my biggest story when I was 16 I dated a girl named for the sake of this video Monique. She had black hair, brown eyes, and was everything I ever wanted. Things moved quickly that winter. Soon, for the first time in my life, I fell in love. And life had never burned brighter. We did everything together. From baking cookies and eating them in bed, to smoking in the woods, climbing mountains, sneaking out behind our parents' backs for late night picnics, skipping class, slapping ourselves in the face, and crying hysterically, cursing the ghosts of our past. We did everything good, bad, naughty, disobedient, yet childish in the most beautiful way. We did anything and everything you can do on this damn earth, and, and it was wonderful. She was my only friend and closest family in those days. I let my passion consume me, and soon became blindsided, losing everything to my relationship. As I wrapped myself deeper and deeper into the relationship, days became darker and darker. Soon, Monique became depressed, and I became sad. Supporting her through countless medication changes, staying by her side on the days the vomiting never seemed to end. Despite all my love, nothing was helping. One day after school, I went over to Monique's house as usual, only to find her outside by her parents. And they told me that Monique had tried to kill herself that afternoon. I wondered what I did to cause this to happen. What could I have done differently? That summer, I spent hundreds of hours driving to the far hospital, miles away from our hometown, to visit Monique. During the one hour per day, she had to visit family and friends. I felt that without Monique by my side, I was nothing. I was no one. Without her by me constantly, I wasn't a person anymore. I began to lose myself further and further. She was my everything. She was my whole world. And my whole world was falling apart. At this time in my life, a YouTuber I was watching introduced me to a quote that just might have saved my life. If you love a flower, don't pick it. Because if you pick it, it ceases to be what you love and dies. Love is not about possession. Love is about appreciation. Monique was my flower, and I had picked her. Separate from each other, we weren't whole people. Just little bits of a person running around helplessly trying to find our other halves. I knew deep down Monique needed to overcome her depression on her own. I knew that if I truly wanted to love her the way she deserved, I needed to let her go. Sometime later, I made what is, to this day, the hardest decision I have ever made in my entire life. That day, I drove to Monique's house, and I broke her heart. I also broke my heart. I ended things knowing that if I hadn't, they would only get worse. Although we don't talk, Monique is doing better, and to this day she thanks me for making the decision I did at the end of things. This is my tattoo. It's real simple, but to me, it means a whole heck of a lot. This flower represents Monique, and the sacrifices we both made for each other, the love we shared together, the memories, the things we learned, and even the pain and the heartbreak. It may seem weird getting a tattoo that represents my first love, but to me, it's not just about her. It's about everything that went on, everything that made me who I am, everything that transformed me to be, to be Chris. Without her, without the mistakes and the pain and even the good times, I, I wouldn't be Chris. I would be someone else. This tattoo is more than just a lesson. It's more than just a girl. It's, it's a reminder of who I am and that through all of life, love is about the appreciation you have for the people and things around you. Love is about caring. It's about the memories, and most of all, about doing the hardest things for those you care about most in life. I know deep down in my heart, I will always remember Monique. Thank you for the memories. Thank you for the love. Live a happy and long life for me. I love you, Brent.